God, guys, thank God. What took you so long? It's not so good up there right now. Oh, he's gone. We're too this late. whole Shh, situation boy. is just bad in general. Uh, yeah, he, uh... I... I it's like no matter what choices you make, <laughs> people are gonna die. What are you looking for? Another way out. People are going I to cross no each other. The cable car. Josh, he's gotta have it. And what is all that? It may have taken him down to the. Mine. I don't know. It's like I feel bad for all of them. I really do. Um, what is it? M almost got this killed. This is the safe room, M. <laughs> Fuck! I can't do this. Thank God I didn't choose to do it because just imagine if I shot her, and then finding out afterwards you don't become the, the creature after being bit. And now I'm here alone. Oh God. Great. I'm back at the sanatorium. And this is the part I hate the most about the game. <sighs> Being back at the sanatorium knowing that there are more of those creatures. And this time around, there's multiple of them running around. Loose caboose. Damn, I just... The fact that two people died so far, Matt and the the old man that was trying to help us, I feel bad. Because all I wanted to do was play a game where I was able to save everyone and now look. I accidentally killed two people and I'm not proud of it at all. I'm actually pretty sad. Now the question is... Who else is going to die? Who would be the next victim? And honestly... Being hopeful, I'm probably going to say no one else is going to get killed. But... Knowing how clumsy I am sometimes, I mean... I don't know. I'm just over here looking for some clues, see if there's any more. No, oh, the totem. Okay. Oh, I already did this one. Alright, so I guess whether you go back to the same area or not, there aren't going to be any new clues. Yeah, this is the photo that I saw earlier, too. I believe a couple episodes back. Yeah. The thing is, the fact that only 12 survive when there was a possibility of more than 30 people down in the mines shows me that they ate and i'm not talking a little bit a little bit uh nibble nibble here or a little bit nibble nibble there they had a buffet type of feast and since they were stuffing themselves if Hannah became the creature after eating one person, oh, shit. after eating one little person, imagine if that same person would eat a couple people, even a couple dozen people. Their humanity would have been long gone after the first bite. So just imagine if they decide to eat mad people, like oh, man alright, let me just take a look here I see some stuff alright I'm, I'm, I feel like I'm Nancy Drew with finding all these clues clipping wall, found sanatorium a map of the mountain with sightings and recent disappearances marked with dates. It looks like the work of an obsessive mind. Update. These must have been creature sightings the mystery guy was collecting.
Wow. Okay. Now, like I mentioned before, I'm not going to say the name of the creature because I'm a little bit superstitious on that. According to Native American fork lore, if you say the creature's name, that kind of like gives them a sense of where to find you. I know it sounds silly, but honestly, has there been any Native Americans that were wrong about their fork lore? Because I... I believe them and trust them 100%. So, I'm not going to test that theory. Now, I'm going over all of these places again. And I have not once seen any of the Mystery Man's dogs. I really hope they're okay. Okay, is there anything for me to touch or look at? Nope. Right? Nothing? Alright, nothing. Whatever. Ooh! Oh no, a totem! Oh lord. I hope it's a nice one. I really hope so. I got a danger totem, as if my anxiety isn't bad enough. Like, thank you for telling me that I'm in danger. Like, no shit, Sherlock. Of course I'm in danger. Wow, I've seen all the little crosses here, too. Look at this. Holy hell. Makeshift graveyard found sanatorium. All the crosses bear the same date, 24th February, 1952. What happened to make so many people die on the same day? You, you come on, we already know what happened, bro. The remaining 12 were so used to having buffet-style dinners that once you sent them back to the, the sanatorium, they started eating people again. Like, come on, man. You really think that they just died mysteriously? So what, I can't go through here? I wasted my time, huh? But no, but in all seriousness, it makes sense. Because remember the bodies we found? Or, sorry, the lack of bodies we found in the morgue? Where there were detailed notes about how um, some of the bodies were ripped apart? That's no coincidence. Come on, that is not a coincidence at all. Come on, man. We already know the remaining 12 became cannibal lovers and just, you know, decided to eat each other, literally. Not figuratively, not sexually, but literally eat each other. Alright, so what am I supposed to do? I don't get this, like... Alright, I'm gonna go this way. I don't see anything. See, and there's nothing. So I'm gonna go up the stairs, honestly. This music is really not helping either. And that totem, that totem is not helping my confidence either. Like, I'm scared. I hate playing scary games, but you know what? I do it for my fans, because I love you guys. Because I'll do anything for my fans. Ooh. Oh, Mira, a little hole. Giggity, let's go. Can we drop down safely? <coughs> Oof. Damn. Alright, so... Oh, a gun? Yes, please. I need that. I'll take that. I just need a pitchfork and a mob. Let there be light. Come on. A nice. Is that a? Ooh. Oh shit. Nice. Wait a minute, Mikey. Wait a minute. Is that? 
Is that all you're gonna take? I feel like you should take more than a handful. No? That's it? Boy, you're crazy. If that was me, I would have been taking the whole box. Fuck that shit. All right, um, I guess we can leave, right? Or should we attempt to go to the same path? You know what? I'm going to go this way. See if I'm able to, like, you know. All right, stand back. That totally did not give away my location at all. Like, I don't know. Honestly, now, I know those creatures know. <gasps> oh, one of the wolves! Hey, big guy. Hey! Happy to see me again, huh? Hey. I hoping I'd run see? into you again. I'm happy. At least the wolf is okay. Right. Good boy. All right, pal. Come with me. All right. Here's the plan. I happen to see a map of this place, so we're not flying blind. There should be a way through the psychiatric wing that'll take us right outside the mine. Think you can handle that? Couldn't have said it better myself. Oh my god, I have a new companion! Yes! I'm so happy. I am so happy I have a wolf buddy with me now. Alright, let me just go through here. I love my little doggy friend. Okay, so this path right here is totally not safe. Like, warning, this area closed off. Huh, I wonder why it's closed off. Like, I can't, I don't know, man. It's like, I wouldn't really be in this situation. I'll be too scared to even get out of my house. But then again, that's just me. What the hell? Doggy boy, calm down. I guess the wolf is sensing something that I can't see it at first. But um I don't know. Should I go? Wish I could move like you, Wolfie. Uh sure, Stuck Mikey. On this side. Okay, let me see. Oh my god, what is this place? No, seriously, what is this place? Right. Do I really want to pull this? I guess I'm pulling. Whatever. Awesome. I don't know, it's like... Yeah, Mikey is pretty brave, but at the same time, I feel like going back to the sanatorium is not necessary to me, you know what I mean? I feel like I feel like see that? I do got moves. Don't I move it? I I don't wanna be here, but fuck it. I guess this is I guess I have to do this to progress in the game. But honestly, I like Sam's plan of staying inside the basement until dawn. But you know what? Telling someone to stay does not 100% work. So it's whatever. Okay, is there anything? Ooh, what's this? The hell is that? All right, doctor's report found sanatorium. The report by Dr. Bowen notes several serious irregularities in some recent patients. It appears that the patients were undergoing some sort of physical damage. Hmm, okay. Reporting physician Dr. W.B. Cathcart, that's an ugly name, Initial report. The patients were first admitted to Blackwood's medical facility five days ago. 
During this time, we have run a number of tests, both philosophical and psychological. The results have been extraordinary in contravention of common medical expectations. Okay. Symptoms observed. Pallor, skin dispigmentation, severe vitamin D deficiency. Um, actually, some of these are a no-brainer. In terms of the skin dispigmentation, I mean, no shit since they've been in the cave for how long? And severe vitamin D, I mean, they're trapped in the cave with no sun. Of course, they're not going to get vitamin D. No shit. Social dysfunction. Longer than average redaptation, period. Post-traumatic event. Interpersonal behavior, erratic. Violence towards orderlies. Three attempted assaults. One attempted scratching. I mean, as far as the social dysfunction is concerned, they've been trapped in the mines for how long? And yet, are you really surprised that they're not social butterflies? I mean, that's kind of like a no shit either, but... Symptoms expected but not observed. Malnutrition, scurvy. Average quint let index was only within what negative three percent of normal expect expected values they should be dead frostbite patient stimulus response within acceptable bounds 130 to 410 ms for fertility weakness d distension of tibia fibia and humerus average what, plus one percent one inch observe unusual growth in strength one patient lifted 725 pounds damn what is his exercise routine 725 pounds damn this person's od strong suggested action place under strict observation Restraint strongly recommended. Change from one orderly to three orderlies. 24 hour day observation. Huh. So right then and there, based on that report, obviously the doctors were expecting, you know, the typical signs of, you know, being messed up in the head. What they were not expecting is, not only were they far beyond messed up in the head, they basically had crackhead strength. And I can't blame them because, in all reality, they did not know what they actually welcomed in the facility. Ooh. Oh. What the hell? That's crazy shit. That is some crazy shit. Fuck I got myself into. Yeah, it seems like we're not really alone. That's pretty much disturbing. Huh. These doors were built like tanks. How crazy were these inmates? Huh. This, this, these were not ordinary inmates, bro. They're not ordinary Fuck, inmates. Fuck, man. This is truly disgusting. Wow, that's disturbing. Let me see what's in here. I'm curious. What went on here? Let this us... Not... Let us out. We are starving, freezing. I will make you say, stop testing us now. Wow, this is like a torture chamber down here. This is insane. What the hell is this? Okay. Nothing here for me to take a look at. All right.
I don't know what this wolf is showing me, but in all reality, this place is getting even- Oh! <gasps> yo, I- Yo, did you see that? The creature was crawling up the wall just now. Oh, hell no. I can't. I can't, man. Oh my god, bro. Okay, so from what the guy said, if you see the creature, hold still. My god, I can't. I don't know what to do, honestly. This is not what I want. And I don't see any other clues either, so... Huh. Okay. The B-Wing. Okay, so let me check over here, see if there's any, any interesting clues I can get. Nothing from here, from what I'm seeing. The doctor's office. What's in here? Ooh, what's this? Come on. Let me just see the paintings, bro. X. Oh my god. Corny. X. What am I looking at? What is that? Medical examination. Okay. Oh! Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. That's the guy. Day four. And this is day seven. So within two days, already half of his face is gone and he looks like a zombie. Jesus, hot sun. Case study dossier found sanatorium. A series of photos of a miner called Billy Bates. They show transformation over several days. By the end, the miner has clearly become the creature. Blackwood Pines, Blackwood Sanatorium, Medical Examination, Patient Number 9, Progression of Skeletal Hypertosis, Confidential. January 9th, 1952, Day 4, Epidermal Dispigmentation, Expected After Time Underground, Severe Curvature of Thoracic Region, Post-Traumatic Chitosis, corneal dyst dystrophy and clouding, accurate 20 out of 160. January 14th, 1952, day 9. Chronic chitosis, scarring alopecia, or alopecia, whatever. Extreme nasal septum perforation. Ectodermal dysplasia, pointing of teeth. January 17th, 1952, day 12, telogen effluvium not alopecia, maxim maximally canine length, one inch. Consistent with corneal oedema, but acuity now 20 slash 22 epidermal toughening stratum corneum this christmas cake this is fucking unbelievable yeah the changes man so within two weeks two weeks that's when they changed the hell is this are you serious no no no, why why was I nosy? Why was I nosy? Why? Oh my god, you fucking kidding me, man.
Why, why was, why did I decide to be nosy? I swear to God, if that shit jumped at me, I'm gonna crack his face. I don't care. Oh my God. Yeah. Oh my God. Okay, come on. Sorry, Alton. To whom it may concern. That's it? To whom it may concern? That's it? That's all you wrote, bro? I gotta see this again. Let me see. To whom it may concern. Oh. Th wow, a suicide note. Huh. Found. Sanatorium. A suicide note signed by Jefferson Bragg. He locked himself in his safe room and took poison. He seems to be describing some sort of massacre outside. They are dying outside. I hear them screaming and crying. This hell is my only legacy. God's punishment for my mistakes. No escaping my fate. Death awaits me now. Oh wait, hold on. I see a couple of updates. Hold on. Update. Dr. Bowen was killed on the same day as those buried in the makeshift graveyard. Update. Another death that occurred on 24 February 1952. There must have been a massacre. Okay. Alright, so my theory is the sanatorium took the miners in, not knowing that they ate all those people buffet style and became the creatures so within those two weeks that they took them in that's when hell got loose and not only was there a massacre but the remaining survivors of the massacre became those creatures as well that is so sad that is so crazy like all right let me see what's in here Alright, movie night it is, I guess, right? Come on, I hate these controls. Alright, show me. What the hell is this? Is that one of the miners? Tied down? Whoa, he's able to climb on the wall? Holy shit. Oh, okay. What the fuck? Old film reel found sanatorium. A restrained patient seems to turn into some sort of creature and becomes violent. It attracts the people making the film. Going on around here. Mike, what do you mean what's going on around here? All the clues are telling you that the miners were fucking cannibal eaters. Having mad food right in front of them. And then after they ate, they became the creature. Come on, man. The old guy is telling you all along that the whole mountain is cursed. Cursed! Hold on, what's in here? Oh, no, this is the same way I went through, okay. Damn, this is crazy as hell. This is so crazy. Oh, Lord. And didn't the mountain guy say that he somehow caught a couple of the creatures? Oh my god, oh my god. I, I hate it here. I hate it here. Let me take a break, I can't. I'm so fucking scared. Thank you for watching. This is Lover of Ladies, and I'll see you next week.